Hey guys, uh, today we're doing a refilling video. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is a Canon TS6420 and the color cartridge just ran out. So this is what the image is supposed to look like. Then you can see that it stopped putting out yellow. That's why the lines are there. And you can see yellow is just a little bit up top and, th and then it's gone. And then there isn't any. So the ink cartridge level that is shown on the printer is, um, it does show it's slow, but I didn't get the message yet. So I'm going to go to estimated ink levels. Well, it already has the exclamation mark that the um, color ink cartridge is low. So what we're going to do, we're going to refill both cartridges. We're going to see how that, how the printer uh, reacts to that. Um, it's a newer model, so I'm not sure. And the ink cartridge is 260 and 261. I have a kit that I got, but you don't have to get this one exactly. Um, if you already have syringes for refilling and you've tried that before, the main thing that you need is the guide to where, um, where the ink cart, uh, which ink goes where. Even though this kit says 240 and 241 ink, to one for the color, one for the black. Um, I hope this is how it is in the new cartridge of 260. And even though I ordered the 260 uh, ink, um, basically, is I guess it is the same as to 241, but. Of course, uh, if you put a 240 cartridge in here, it's not going to work. So, um, let's just get right to it. I'm going to pull out the cartridge. We're going to follow directions on there um, and refill it together. The color cartridge. We're just going to put the black one in there for now. Okay. So here's what we have. We have one of each color, cyan, magenta, and yellow. There's syringes for each color, so they don't. There's a drill screw and gloves. So I'm gonna use my own, but it, this kit does come with gloves. And we have this, um, basically the main. Well, I mean the where you place the cartridge in order to refill it so first what we need to do is we need to remove this sticker right here usually it comes off without a problem but okay we got the sticker off that's why it's best to just do one at a time so you don't mix which one is which but then it's the print head is going to be different on each the nozzle is going to be different on black or the color so you can always look at that um, so this is basically a guide for you um, to for us to know which color goes where you don't even have to remove it, honestly. Um, you can use the original um, label after this, but just make sure you put it right over and we know which color is where. Uh, you can also just dip like uh, a toothpick in there to see which color is in the sponge and you'll be able to know that too, just in case if you don't have this one. Now we're gonna use the screw. Uh, the drill bit you can use your own and drill it or you can do it ma manually like they are saying to do so so let's see how hard it is to use theirs actually It's doable, but it's not that easy, so. Oops, 
that was too far, but hopefully that didn't damage anything. Um, so just the yellow one. Okay, we got the cartridge uh, holes ready and uh, everything is unscrewed. I mean, drilled through. We're going to place it on a refill clip. So it's supposed to be over this rubber piece just to avoid any ink going down and then it's supposed to clip like so so i think we got it in place there we go and then we're going to put some ink cart uh, ink into the cartridge so we're going to use one cartridge for each color and you can uh, refill this uh like with the ink that they supply like this much ink is going to be about four to eight refills um, i know my yellow is gone so i'm gonna do full um three millimeters i believe is for the regular and milliliters and then five to get to the excel um uh standard so let's do that so we're gonna put needles on each one make sure it's tight this one here so here are the bottles the magenta cyan and uh, yellow so we're going to use this one for magenta remove the cap some okay so i'm doing it the way that i got used to um you can also use this this is actually the ink syringe and you can see how much you need to put in so we'll just do that the syringe we'll use for something else so we'll put the needle here and remove this We're going to just flip it over and put it in here. Our marks are on this side. So I'm just going to do um, three milliliters for magenta. And you need to do it slowly. For me, it's actually easier to use the syringe, so I'm going to use syringe for the rest. But you can do this very slowly, putting it in there. So I got it to the amount that I actually need. This is going to get. All that later. Because this is becoming messy. Okay, let's do it the way that I actually originally wanted to do it. So we're going to put the ink in here, or the syringe in here. And you can always push it from the bottom to. Uh, Push the ink up so you don't have to tilt this thing or anything and we're going to put in about three milliliters and it's much more visible here than it is on this bottle so and then we'll just put it into the cyan hole slowly
Okay. Close that so we don't mix anything up. We're going to open the yellow and do the same thing to the yellow ink. Just make sure it's empty. And yellow, I'll just do a little bit more since I know it was the first one to go, so I'll just do four. So you can see the mark on the side here. Four milliliters that we have. Don't worry about the air or anything like that because it's um, that's something we're going to deal after we after we refill this. I'm just going to Okay, so we re refilled all of them. So now we need to get a clean syringe. We can just rinse one of the uh, syringes out. There's a connection right here on the bottom on this clip that we will just connect the syringe to. And we're going to suck about half a mill milliliter of, um, of ink out. So everything is primed and do it while um, the cartridge is upright like this so about that much and we'll remove this here and we're ready to print there's a color stamp the ink so if you just tap it on a napkin or paper towel it's going to show the three colors so it doesn't look like we contaminated any of each of the colors so the guide that we have here is the correct one um, so we can just go ahead and install it into the printer and keep using it Let's see what the printer tells us when we put the cartridge into the printer. One important thing that uh, you need to make sure is don't tilt it or put it sideways too much because the ink will just come out here. You can always put tape over this. Here we go. And let's install it into the printer. We have here. Carrie just pay patiently waiting for its ink. Okay, and see if, if it was successful. This is the first time I'm refilling the 260 ink cartridge, so. Um, okay, so it just says that the following genuine Canon ink cartridges were detected. Um, so we're going to say OK. Okay, And uh, the ink cartridge level is still pretty low. We're going to try to make that same copy that we did. Um, I don't think the ink level can be reset. Maybe you have like a reset uh, device that you can get, but I think you're just going to have a low level but you're gonna know that there's ink so let's see here we're just gonna print we're gonna keep on making the copy that we did before so let's see what that looks like after it prints out and if it's a success we're gonna do the black ink cartridge all right well back to the correct color the only thing uh that uh also is recommended is just to run a quick uh clean cartridge um clean print head or we're just going to go and go ahead and do that we're going to maintenance uh cleaning and we're just going to do one cleaning it'll take a couple minutes so um i'll i'll show you what it looks like after it does that so it's recommended after each refill even though you can see that it's much better now it's back to its original color this is the 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 first one that i did with the canon ink that was not refilled 
Now we refilled it and all of our colors are shown. There's red, there's yellow, there's uh, black on here. Well, black we didn't refill, but anyway, the all the colors, the three colors that are supposed to show, they are showing. So, um, like, this is what it was, and this is what we're back to. So it's very inexpensive. The whole kit for both ink cartridges costs t around $20. Um, and the only hard part about it is making those holes that you only need to drill once. Um, so let's let's just go ahead and see how things go after the cleaning. Okay, now we're ready to do our black cartridge. So same thing, we're removing the this one first, the sticker. And um, you could already see where it goes, so I'm not gonna place it on there. Um, it goes over this hole right here, so we're just gonna drill right through it. Okay, we got that done. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get the syringe. The ink cartridge is not fully empty, so I'm only going to add about two milliliters on the, in there. So about this much. It's a little bit. It's more like three. So hopefully that fits. Um, and I'll just slowly put it into the cartridge. And then using the same syringe, since this is just one color, let's close that. We're going to go right here, give it some time, maybe a minute or so. And then we're just going to pull out air. So you should feel it about... I must have placed it wrong on here. Let's do this again. So. Clipped in. All right, so some ink will come out, and that's enough. So you can just put the sticker back on there, or you may leave it off, it's up to you. So it's like this here. That's another way of doing it, and we're gonna install it into the printer and make a couple prints. Okay, now we have that message saying that the color ink cartridge that we previously refilled um is empty and it's recommended to be replaced but then it feels like your screen is just stuck so what you do is you just hold the stop button for five seconds and that air should go away it still will not reset your ink levels but um it'll uh it'll allow you to uh, print so we're gonna press start to make a copy Here comes the page. Looks like we're all set and ready to print. So this is a pretty good refill kit that I got, and I'm very happy with it. Hope you do as well. If uh, but any kit will work. It's just basically I was checking if it is possible to refill those new Canon ink cartridges, and it is. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. And thank you again.